Hello my dear dentist friends. Uh, the purpose of this video is to learn to evaluate your class 2 composite restoration. Now how do you remember all these criteria? I just want you to pay attention to the criteria in three sections. Criteria involving restoration only, criteria involving restoration in relation to the tooth and criteria involving restoration in relation to the adjacent teeth or rest of the jaw. Let's talk about criteria involving restoration only. This will include voids, porosities, having a smooth surface all over, which also means that the restoration does not have any kind of scratches or roughness. And in this criteria or in this section, there is another criteria that the restoration does not have any kind of contamination. I will look for voids everywhere, especially in the proximal boxes, on the surface, around the margins, and close to the cable surface. Then I will be looking for porosities. These are the tiny white hollow bubbles that appear close to the surface. Then I will make sure the surface does not have scratches or any kind of roughness. It should be smooth all around. Now while scanning the tooth surface, I also have to ensure that there is no contamination of any kind on the surface or under the surface. The next section consists of criteria that involve restoration in relation to the same tooth. We have to make sure that junction of tooth and restoration is not detectable or just slightly detectable. Then I would look for any excess that overlaps the margin. If there is any excess, I have to remove it right away. I will also check if I haven't caused any damage to the assessment tooth or the surrounding gingiva. So go in the proximal box area and look for any damage that you have caused. The third section consists of criteria that involve restoration in relation to the rest of the jaw which includes adjacent teeth and the teeth of the opposing jaw. Here I am going to look for ideal proximal contacts. I will make sure that contacts are not too tight, too light, too broad, too pointy, also not too occlusal or not too gingival. So easy thing to remember here would be anything but too smooth is unacceptable. I will also make sure that contours here are appropriate. The reason contours are categorized here is because they are compared to the contours of the contralateral teeth or the adjacent teeth. I will also make sure that there is no excess on soft tissue or the hard tissue and I will make sure that there is an ideal occlusion with the opposing teeth. So these are all the criteria that we need to fulfill to complete this task successfully. Some of you might not agree with my way of categorization but that's okay. There is no perfect way to reach to your destination. The most familiar route has always been considered as the perfect. You always hold that power to choose and change. Thanks for watching.